Well, big changes in the works at Port Tampa Bay. This after the I team uncovered wasteful spending on executives credit cards. Investigator Jared Holbrook was at the port meeting today and has the new policies put in place. Jared. Well, these are major changes in the way executives can spend your money. Board members tell me the whining and dining days are over. Uh, these changes were necessary. They are appropriate. Moving forward, it's important that we turn this chapter. New policies and stronger internal spending controls are now in effect at Port Tampa Bay. All after the I-Team exposed port executives whining and dining on your dime. Expensive fancy dinners, lightning season tickets, and golf club memberships, just to name a few. Well, Jared, first, let me just say, thanks to your reporting, uh, we identified some areas for improvement. Improvements Tampa's Mayor Bob Buckhorn demanded last meeting after seeing our story. Effective immediately, there will be no more season tickets to sporting events or golf club memberships. If an employee wants to take a potential client to an event, they have to fill out this entertainment form, detailing who they are with and why. Also, no more alcohol purchases for port employees, like the ones we found in a $2,100 bill to Cooper's Hawk and top shelf alcohol at Burns Steakhouse. No more pee cards for travel meals. Those meals will be limited to a per diem reimbursement set by government guidelines. While it's a step in the right direction, new board member Mike Griffin says he wants to tighten them up even more. He was recently appointed after Governor Rick Scott saw our investigation. If you're going to go spend taxpayer money, it's somebody else's money. So let's watch how that money is being spent. In addition to the 13 pages of stronger expense policies, there will be more transparent documentation, more reviews by upper management, and third-party audits specifically looking at P-cards. Um, I think that's great. I think that that's acknowledging that mistakes were made. Um, and more importantly is we now have fixed it. And I think moving forward, you're not going to see this again. The review of expenses is still ongoing, and port employees have had to make reimbursements on questionable charges, including port CEO Paul Anderson. Now, we have requested a full list of all reimbursements. We'll keep you posted when we get them. We can tell you due to a clerical error, Anderson has been getting a car allowance while he has been using a port-issued vehicle. He's had to pay back nearly $12,000 on that so far. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you.